We have to let the police be able to do their jobs. Amber Goldade's daughter, Immaculate, was hit and killed last year in Pierce County while walking on the side of the road with her friend by a now convicted man who was driving a stolen vehicle taken during a burglary. Two weeks prior to my daughter's death, the police had them when they were coming out of the business. But they knew that they didn't have to stop. What happened to her daughter is why Amber spoke in support of Initiative 2113, sponsored by Brian Haywood, who announced in front of Dunn Lumber and Shoreline that more than 410,000 signatures will now be turned in. And this crime here is another reason Mike Dunn, president of the store, says current state policies are not working. And so what you see in that surveillance video is the vehicle smashes through here and makes its way this far back into the store. Then the suspects went through the aisles. You then see police show up and two vehicles take off. Clipped a police car and drove off. Um, and of course the police let them go because of the no pursuit law. Mike's story is not unique. Como has told you time and time again about these smashing grabs where oftentimes the criminals get away. I want to say very clearly, we don't need to get used to that. Under Washington's old pursuit law, police could only chase criminals in the most serious violent circumstances. In May, a new law was signed that gives officers a little more say in when they can initiate a pursuit. But law enforcement sources tell Como it's still fairly restrictive. This initiative aims to further loosen those restrictions. One of the things I want to clarify, this isn't high speed. I'm not saying let's go chase everything at 250 miles an hour. And I believe absolutely there are reasonable times not to pursue. But I would like to return that to the common sense of the chief of police or the sheriff. Reporting in Shoreline, Paul Rivera, Como News.